Today we're going to talk about the five biggest festivals in China. Coming in on number five is the Qingming Festival. This festival is also known as Tomb Sweeping Day or Ancestors Day and is celebrated on the first day of the fifth solar term of the traditional Chinese calendar, which is around April. When celebrating, the Chinese go to visit their ancestors' graves to pray, sweep the tombs and offer food to show respect. This festival started some 2,000 years ago, when Duke Wen of Jin had a retainer named Jie Zitui. After being Duke Wen's helper for a long time, he resigned and went to live in a forest. Duke Wen wanted him to come back, but his men couldn't find him. They set fire to the forest, but instead of coming out, Jie died there. After this, Duke Wen ordered his people to honor Jie for the three days every year in April. The fourth biggest festival is the Duanwu Jie or Dragon Boat Festival, which is celebrated every year on the fifth day of the fifth month, according to the lunar calendar. This means that the date changes every year, but it is usually celebrated in June. There is a variety of stories about the origin of the festival, but the most popular one goes like this. Chu Yan was a high-ranking official of the state of Chu during the Warring States period. He advised the king, but because of jealous ministers, he was dismissed and put into exile. When the Qin conquered Chu, Chu Yan committed suicide by drowning himself in the Miluo River on the fifth day of the fifth month. It is said that people sailed up and down the river while playing their drums to scare away the evil spirits. Now you can watch the dragon boat races every year when the festival is celebrated. So if you love the Chinese dragon, this is definitely the time you should consider coming to China. Yuan Xiaojie, also known as Lantern Festival, is the third on the list. This is my personal favorite because of the beautiful red lanterns. The festival marks the final day of the Chinese New Year and is celebrated in February or March. During the festival, people will light lanterns. The lanterns can symbolize that you are letting go of your old self and starting fresh. Just like when we jump down from the chair on New Year's Eve and start planning our new life. Number two on the list is the famous Mid-Autumn Festival, which is a harvest festival held on the 15th day of the eighth month of the lunar calendar, when the full moon is hanging in the sky. It often falls in September or October during the harvest season, when families can get together to give thanks for the harvest. Nowadays, to celebrate the festival, friends and family get together and eat mooncakes while watching the full moon. So romantic. And now, finally, we have reached the biggest one, which is the Spring Festival, also called Tunjie. It is celebrated every year at the turn of the traditional Chinese calendar. At this time, Beijing is emptying out and the trains are packed with people heading home to see family. Chinese people bring presents and red envelopes, also called Hongbao, with money inside to give to their loved ones. People will decorate their doors with red paper cuts, wishing their family good fortune and happiness. And families will eat together and light firecrackers. The year of the rooster has just begun, so let's get ready to achieve our goals set for this year. There you have it, the five biggest Chinese festivals. I hope you have written down the dates so you can participate in the amazing celebrations next time you're in China or nearby Chinese friends. Thank you for watching and please remember to like, comment and share this video. We would love to hear from you.